हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई बी ऑल डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर माय नेम इज बेग आई एम अ फुल स्टेक डेवलपर एंड ग्राफिक डिजाइनर टुडे आई विल शो यू डेट हाउ टू बिल्ड वन जावा स्क्रिप्ट स्टॉप वॉच प्रोजेक्ट इन जावा स्क्रिप्टो एंजॉय दिस प्रोजेक्ट लाइक प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट Now over here you can see I have just made this JavaScript stop uh, watch over here. Okay, so in this stop watch you can see there is a uh, written stop watch JavaScript stop watch. Then there is a time and over here there is three buttons. One is called start, then second one is stop, then third one reset. Okay, so if I just press this first one button which is called start, so over here you can see now our stop watch has been started over here. You can see that. Okay, so now over here if I just press this second one button which is called stop. So now over here you can see our button has been stop over here. Okay, our stop watch has been stop over here. You can see that. And now if I press this reset one, then it will be just start from starting. So if I just press that, so over here you can see now everything has been changed into zero zero. So if I just press start again, so over here you can see now our timer has been started, and you can just take it to many times if you want to. So I will be just stop that. Then I will be press reset. So over here you can see now it has been just reset. You can also hit refresh over here. So now we will be just building that with JavaScript. But first of all, for making that, you have to do like just you have to come over here, and I will be just doing it half screen. So just do like that, and over here you can see we will be just seeing our all the codes over here. So I'll be just coming over here, okay? So over here for building that, first of all you have to make three files, okay? So one is called HTML one, then second will be of CSS, and third will be of JavaScript. So I will be just gone to my first file, which is called index.html so i will be just uh, coming over here and now over here i will be just doing one thing like i will be coming and i will be writing over here first of all like just come and write over here the starting code of html so i will be writing this sign i will be pressing tab so over here you can see we have gotten all the starting code of html which we want okay so now i will be come underneath my body tag and over here first of all i will be writing link tag and in this link tag you have to define your style sheet name Uh, where you will be writing your frameworks or you will be styling your page. So I'll be writing over here. My style sheet name is style dot css. So I'll be writing style dot css. So just when you done that, you have to come over here and now you have to just link your JavaScript sheet. So I'll be writing over here script tag. And in this script tag, I will be writing src, which means source. And I will be coming over here and I will be writing my uh, JavaScript sheet name, which will be script dot js. So I'll be writing script dot js. So when you done that, just you have to come underneath your link. Style sheet and I'll be writing all the codes underneath that. So just first of all, you have to write H1. Then over here, just come over here now, and I will be just go to my project over here, and I'll, I will be just doing one thing. I will be copying these all things, okay? Because I will just need that. I will be copying that. I will be coming over here and I'll be just writing H1 tag. Then I'll be pasting these all things, okay? So over here you can see I've just pasted that. So over here. Uh, you can be just seeing that stopwatch was uh, stopwatch was in one line and JavaScript stopwatch was in second line. Okay, but over here these three uh, things are coming in one line. So I'll be just doing one thing. I will be writing dr tag. So just come over here and now write over here dr like that. And over here you can see now uh, JavaScript stopwatch has been just uh, in in other line. So I'll be just hit save over here. Now over here you have to do one thing like you have to just uh, come on and hit that. And I will be just coming and writing over here like p tag. And just you have to write over here like this and like that. Okay, so over here you can see the time we have written also. So when you've done these, all you have to come over here and write over here button tag. So I'll be writing button tag. Then over here you have to write like start. So I'll be writing start. Then just copy that and I'll be just pasting that two times. Okay, because there were three buttons like I've shown you. So now in that I will be writing stop. Then over here I'll be writing reset. So write over here reset. Now just when you've done that. You have to hit save and now over here I will be just hitting refresh. So all the things are like that which we want. You can see that now. So over here you have to do one thing like I will be just uh, uh, just coming over here and now over here I will be just going to my CSS file. Okay. So now when you come over here, just you have to write first of all starting code. So the margin I want of zero pixel. Then over here I will be writing padding. It should also be zero pixel and Over here, I will be just coming and erase this padding because we need padding in our button. So I will be writing like that. Now, just when you've done this, all you have to come over here and now I'll be writing box sizing, which should be border box. Okay, so when you've defined these all, just come over here again and now I'll be writing over here flex direction. Okay, so just erase these all because now we don't need. And I'll be just coming and I'll be writing over here background, which should be white. Then come over here and I will be writing background color white. So when you define that, come over here and define the background position. So I'll be writing background position which should be in center. So just when you define that, all come over here and I'll be writing background attachment which should be fixed. So I'll be writing fixed. So when you define that, come over here and I'll be writing another thing like background and I'll be writing background size which should be cover. 
So when you've defined that, all you have to come over here now and be writing background, okay? And now I will be writing over here like background clip, which will be like over here border box. So I'll be writing that. Now just when you've defined that, all you have to come and write over here just like that, okay? So when you've defined these all, you have to just come over here. I'll be writing over here text align, which will be in center. So I'll be writing center. So now over here you can see now our text aligned into center. So when you've defined these all, I'll be just hitting refresh. Okay, so now it has been just good if I just show you in the project. So over here you can see our button is looking like that. So I'll be just going to my style.css file again and I'll be just going to index.css and I'll be just coming over here and I will be just doing one thing like I will be pressing backspace over here and just you have to come over here now and I will be writing over here another tag which is called h1. So now in this h1 tag I will be defining over here like padding. So the padding I want of like 12 pixel. So if I do like that you can see we, we are getting just space from the above. You can see that over here. Now just if I just show you over here there is space from above also like that. So over here when you define that you have to just go to your index.html then come over here now again and I will be just going to my index.html and I will be just doing one thing I will copy this br and I will be pasting that. So over here you can see now we have just gotten all the space which we want. So I will be just doing one thing I will be just hitting save over here and we just hitting refresh. So over here you can see now it has been just doing like that. Now when you define these all things just you have to do one thing you have to go to style.css file and I will be just changing its font. So I'll be writing over here like font family, which should be like Mon Sira. So I'll be writing over here like Mon Sira. I will be writing over here just erase that all. I will be coming and I'll be writing open sense. So write open sense and you have to write over here another thing like erase that now. So I'll be just coming and I will be just uh, taking it to lobster if I do just like that. Okay, so when, when you've defined these all, just you have to change this to like I will be coming over here. And now over here, I will be just changing it to Monfira. So I'll be writing Monfira, comma, send serif. So now just when you define that, you have to hit save over here. Now just you have to come over here again and I will be defining padding so much. Okay. So I'll be just coming over here. I'll be writing padding like 15 or 20. I'll be writing. Okay. So 20 is enough. So when you've defined that, you have to hit save and just you have to come over here and do like that. So over here, you can see not has been looking like that. You can see that all. So I will be just doing one thing I like. I will be copying this font family from here. And I will be just pasting that over here. Okay, so in here I'll be just pasting. So over here you can see it has been just changed. So I will be just coming over here and I'll be writing font size. So I'll want that of 15 pixels. So I'll be defining that. So just come over here now and I will be writing 25. If I do, it is also small enough. So now over here, if I just change it to like, uh, just come over here and write 40. So now it is enough. So when you've defined these all, just you have to hit save over here now and it refresh over here you can see not and we just gone so over here you have to do one thing like you have to just come over here and i will be just going to my index.html file again and over here you can see there is written p tag so i'll be coming over here and i will be defining p tag and in this p tag i will be defining padding okay so the padding i need of like also 20 pixels so i'll be writing that and over here you can see not has been having a space from uh, from uh, between over here you can see that and now over here we just come and i'll be writing font size okay so the font size i need of 20 pixel or okay so now it has been just going bigger so i'll be coming over here i'll be just change it to 30 okay so over here you can see not has been just looking good enough you can see that all okay so like that it is looking in over here okay you can see now over here i'll be just going to my style.css uh index.html file again and over here i'll be just coming and i will be just changing to like uh just go to style.css again and i'll be just copying this font family from here and be just pasting that in my p tag so over here you can see not has been just font family has been changed over here you can see that now over here i'll be just doing one thing i'll be just hitting save and i will be just coming over here i'll be writing button and just come over here and now just you have to define padding so the padding i need of like 15 pixel if i do okay so over here you can see now it has been just given 15 pixel padding and if i just change it to 12 pixel over here also so over here you can see it has been just doing like that and if you do like that again and if i just change it to 20 so over here you can see now it has been just doing like that now just change it to 10 so over here it is looking like that but i will be just changing it to 60 over here and you can be just changing it to like 30 if you want but it is just so much bigger i'll be just going to over here Okay, so it has been just looking like that. So I'll be just going to index.html again, go to CSS file, and I will be just changing it to like 20. So over here, you can see that it is looking good. So I'll be just doing one thing like I will be just changing it to 10 over here. Now, when you've defined these all, just change it to like 65. Okay, so over here, you can see we have defined these all things. Now you have to do one thing like you have to just change its font size. So I'll be coming over here, I'll be writing font size. 
which will be like 12 pixel so over here you can see now it has been just uh, doing a small so i'll be writing 20 pixel so when you define these all you have to hit save o okay so over here you can see now our button has been defined over here okay so over here i will be just doing one thing like i will be giving margin with each other so right over here margin this will be 12 pixel if I do so over here you can see now we are getting a space in three buttons over here okay so I'll be just hitting save and I'll be just hitting refresh so now it has been just good over here you can see now I will be just coming and I'll be writing over here like background color of our button so this is the color I want of like grace I'll be writing over here gray if I do okay so like that and just if you write like this slate grade and now if I do one thing like I will be raising that and I will be just coming over here I'll be writing like that okay so now when you define these all just erase that and erase this also okay because we don't need it so i'll be just hitting save and it is just looking good over here now i will be just going to my script.js file again i'll be just coming and i'll be writing over here function which will be const now just come over here and now i'll be writing let and i'll be writing over here let document equal query selector so i'll be writing query selector then when you define that you have to just come underneath and i'll be writing function so when you define that you have to come over here right over here let document I'll be writing equal document of query selectors. I'll be writing query selectors. I'll be writing selector over here. It will be just same, but I will be just writing document in that. So when you define that, come over here and now I will be writing another thing like let and now I'll be writing let const equal document of query selector. And now here when you define that, you have to come over here. I'll be writing over here like just come over here now and I'll be writing another thing like just come and write over here document. So when you define these all just you have to come over here and be changing it to const so i'll be writing that so just you have to do one thing you have to come over here now and i'll be just doing one thing i'll be just changing it to bigger okay so now over here you can see that we have defined these all things over here okay so just go to script over here and now i will be just doing one thing i will be coming over here now and i'll be just pressing enter again so i'll be writing const dot add event listener so i'll be writing add event listener now just come over here i'll be writing const and i'll be just writing over here like comma on click tag so when you define that command right over here button and i'll be writing over here like document dot function tag so when you define these all command right over here like query selector so we will be just changing with javascript so when you define these all come over here and write over here button because so i'll be writing on click so when you define that just come over here now and i'll be writing document dot function i'll be writing over here cost dot and i'll be writing on click so when you define that command right over here floor dot random so when you define that just come over here and write on click dot button so i'll be writing like that now when you define that you have to come over here write add and i'll be writing dot on click when you define these all command write button dot floor and be writing dot random so when you define these all just come over here and now i'll be writing over here like uh, const and just write over here dot let and i'll be writing button dot and i'll be writing random dot and now when you define that you have to just come over here and i'll be writing dot button so when you define these all just come over here and write add dot then okay so erase that because there is not space we will be writing over here then over here you have to come and write over here random dot and i'll be writing floor and i'll be writing dot const dot let and i'll be writing dot on click so when you define these all just you have to do one thing i will be just hitting save over here and i'll be just doing one thing like i will be doing that there and now over here if i just show you so hit save over here and now just you have to go your style.css file I'll be just coming to my script.js. So I'll be just doing one thing. I'll be writing stop watch and I'll be writing over here like works. So I'll be writing works tag. So you have to do one thing. I will be hitting save over here. And now if I just show you by full screen in, so over here you can see our JavaScript stopwatch has been ready. If I press this start button, so over here you can see now our stopwatch has been started. Now if I just press this stop, so over here you can see it has been stopped. And if I just press this reset, so it has been just reset. Okay. So now we have successfully made it our JavaScript stopwatch in JavaScript. So I hope you understand this project and I hope you also enjoy this project like you enjoy my previous project of JavaScript. So just you have to practice this whole project we are working with and I hope you'll be good for of JavaScript also like Europe, Python, and HTML and CSS. So I will just meet you next project so for today. Good. Bye.